and welcome to your gold market update for today friday the 22nd of july i hope you're all well and i'm sure you're looking forward to the weekend mike smith senior analyst at gold markets here and let's have a look at what's coming across the news today of course u.s markets continue to move upwards last night on strong earnings to test t key technical levels however after the bell snap results pulled down the ndx futures particularly and to some degree the S&P 500 with a 25% drop in after hours training after their miss. US futures as a result as we've already intimated are mildly negative in Asia. Asian indices are mixed. The ASX was down in early trading 0.25% but seems to have recovered and is back in positive territory at this stage. European futures are suggesting a near neutral open uh, but that obviously may change before this afternoon. Uh, the US dollar index moved downwards and reverted to its two-week lows that we hit earlier in the week. Slightly lower again in Asia today. And as a result of that USD weakness, we did see gold recover to that 1700 critical level after failing to breach support at 1685. Oil is trading in a tight range as it has for most of the week and is slightly lower today at 104 on the Brent crude contract CFD. The VIX suggesting the markets are calming is at three month lows just below that 25 level and copper's paused at an important 330 level also bitcoin hasn't really moved much in the last three days we hit 23,000, which is one month highs a couple of days ago and the price continues to pause around that level so no buying pressure pushing it high but neither is there selling to take us back into that previous range that we have been in for some weeks it is a quieter earnings day but we do see Results coming out from Twitter, Schlumberger and Dow component Verizon. Also, there is important global PMI data out throughout the day. Japanese and Australian data already out. We have numbers coming out of the UK, Europe and the US later. UK retail sales are also due and may impact on the GB pound. Be interested to see how we reposition after such a positive week at, with it being Friday. There are a couple of charts we're going to have a look at today. We're going to have a look at Starbucks in the US. You can see that shift over that $81 we talked about previously. This appears to have some continued momentum and a move up around about 4.5% to 87.26. Looks like it could be on the cards. We see this as possibly a next point of price pause. Uh, maybe get up to 89, but of course we do have earnings coming out in the not too distant future so make sure you check out on those uh, we talked about zipco limited earlier in the week and you can see that's just followed through and we're now actually through the next key level at around about 84 cents that's a, an amazing run up in the last few days in excess of 40 percent from its lows and we see this continuing to be honest uh, wouldn't surprise us to see it test a dollar in the short term Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.